Mark, let's get into it. Cool. Um, so we'll start off here with the um, with the Brian Robinson touchdown, the, the first touchdown, what, four plays into the game. Um, and this one was quite off schedule. It, it was by no means designed to, to go this way. But uh, essentially what we have is uh, down the bottom here, we have a uh, what's called a dragon concept. It's a, it's a slant route and a, and a flat route. Um, and then up here, you've got what's called a spacing concept where you have two receivers kind of spotting up and a third receiver, which is the running back, going out to the flat. And, and that's designed to kind of um, space out the defense when they're in zone coverage. So typically on this kind of play, um, different different teams teach it differently. But generally speaking, um, when you're getting man coverage or you're getting a single high safety in the middle of the field, you're wanting to work to this concept down here at the bottom with the with the slant flat. Um, if you're getting a, a split field coverage um, with two deep safeties like they are here, generally you want to work to the spacing concept because you're expecting more of a zone coverage from that kind of look. And this is designed to be zone coverage. Now what the Seahawks do uh, a little bit differently is they have this, uh, their big nickel, which is Jamal Adams down in the slot. He's going to come on, you know, on a blitz and they're going to have this defensive end um, start to rush, but he's peeling and he's matching the running back. So he's peeling off. Um, so essentially they're replacing this rusher with Jamal Adams to kind of screw up the protection scheme. So if we start uh, working into this a little bit here, um, off the snap, you can see Jamal Adams kind of buzzes just a little bit before the snap and he rushes. And I think Sam Howell gets a hint that Jamal Adams is coming. Uh, and so as he's been kind of taught recently, you see that, blitz coming and you want to try to throw over it so i think he initially works to the right despite the fact that as i talked about we're working with a, a split field coverage with two safeties deep so he should probably be working to his left but because that blitz is coming he's probably thinking i want to throw over that spot um that that blitz are where there should be space however as we get into it we can see that this safety is crashing down uh this linebacker is moving across and this corner is ready to bite up so um, that slant route to McLaurin is not going to be there. Um, this corner is going to drive down on this flat route. So that's not going to be there. And that's going to buy Jamal Adams time to come free between those, um, the right tackle and the right guard. Mark, um, Mark is the man, is the, is the tight end there at the 50? Is that the original read there? Is that, is that Bates or Logan Thomas there? Is that, yeah, that, that his that's, first read? Is that what you're saying? It, it's not quite his first read as, uh, because because there was two safeties, he probably should have been going to this side. Um, but because he had that um, blitz coming, he probably thought he could throw over that. So he's probably working these two. And it's kind of a, a 1A, 1B kind of thing here where um, you, you're kind of reading what the coverage is. And, and if you can hit this one deeper, you're taking it, but if not, you're hitting this. But because that safety and this linebacker kind of comes across into McLaurin's um, path and that corner is ready to buzz up to Logan Thomas in the flat. Um, neither of those options are available to it. So yeah. then, I guess sorry, I was sorry. thinking John Bates in the middle of the field there. Yeah, so that's that's where he he should be going. Um, ideally, when when you have that spacing concept and and you're you get those two high safeties, you're you should be working to this side of the field because this is a zone beating concept and you're anticipating zone coverage with two safeties. So. Um, yeah, you see John Bates is, is wide open in the middle of the field. Um, this route also kind of uncovers. Um, so he probably could have gone to either one of these. But because he saw that blitz, I think he thought it's a blitz. It's probably man coverage. You typically associate blitzes with man coverage. And so he's thinking he needs to throw over it. But that's not what the case was. They It, it was still a, a kind of zone coverage and, and um, they, it was a sim pressure. So they were blitzing this guy, but they, the defensive end was peeling off to cover Brian Robinson. Um, and so, yeah, Hal probably looks the wrong way, but as we'll see, he kind of makes up for it by um, <laughs> this incredible move of dodging uh, Jamal Adams and then kind of scrambling. Um, and then it's just kind of going off script and then Brian Robinson continuing his route of the sideline. Um, you it. see from the, from the end zone angle here, you see how this, he's obviously looking to his right, he's thinking throwing. You can see this, just how amazing this move is to avoid Jamal Adams. This this should be a sack on, on, on a vast majority of quarterbacks, it probably is. But he manages to just kind of sidestep yeah. and shrug past him, uh, which is incredible to me. And then 
Um, he does this really nice throw where he's just kind of flicking it out and, and Brian Robinson is off to the races. Um, 